Hi, I'm Justin Conway. I'm going to show you today how to uh, sort different columns if the header stretches across numerous columns. So a problem with uh, sorting in Excel sometimes is, uh, I have an example here where you can see income is in the top column. Um, so it sort of looks like the, the name of this column, um, uh, or, or all of these columns, I should say, all four of them are income. Um, and if we go into uh, the sort function, and click on sort by, you can see income is listed here. Um, and uh, you may want to sort on uh, other, other areas, uh, other columns. Um, so the rest of the columns are sorted here. Um, check for uh, column C, D, E, F. It continues across. So simply f go by the letter at the very top of the page here. Um, another way to troubleshoot this problem is uh, you can add a row to the top. Um, this will be a blank row that you can then select. And instead of uh, using income as your header, you now have this blank row to use as your header. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can uh, go into sort, and now it won't pull that header into your, uh, your sorting choices. You'll actually have all of the column numbers listed all the way. And then once you're done with your sort, let's say we're going to sort on income, which is in column C. Um, and click OK. OK. And then now that we're done with our sort, we can always just delete that row that we created. So those are two easy ways to get um, to sort, even though your header is stretching across several columns. My name is Justin Conway, and I hope you enjoyed.